Armin, do you still celebrate Eid and fasting Ramadan as a cultural thing? No, because there's nothing fun in Islam. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I support the idea of secularization, secularizing, well, in my opinion, okay, uh, secularizing religious customs and rituals and removing their religious beliefs out of them because a lot of people have emotional, um, the emotional attachment to these things. And it's not necessarily because of the beliefs that they want to stay connected to it. It's because of the rituals, the cultures, the community, the aesthetics, all the things that they grew up with. They have an emotional attachment with that. So what I, what I promote is instead of reforming religion, reforming religion means keeping the belief, changing the aesthetics, changing the practice. I say, I say reforming religion is a horrible idea. The problem with religion is the belief, not the rituals, not the aesthetics. Okay. Um, I think instead of reforming, I prescribe secularizing religion, which means getting rid of the belief, but keeping the, rit the harmless rituals, aesthetic, cultural stuff, the dance, the art, the, the architecture, the celebrations. Okay. However, the problem is that um, person, I, I, it, I recognize because even though I couldn't find anything fun about the the festivals, I like the art and like the architecture, I like the stories, the mythology. But when it comes to the festivals, I didn't find anything appealing in that. But that's probably because I'm ex Shia and Shia festivals is just all about death and crying and black and hitting yourself. So maybe that's the reason why I don't find anything appealing. Maybe if I was an ex Sunni, the AIDS would be more fun and I would find something appealing about that. But for the people, I even though I couldn't relate, I see the, I, I recognize, I, I don't try to use my own personal feelings as a way to uh, judge what others are feeling. I see that I, I can recognize that that's something that people have an emotional attachment to. However, um, the reason, right. but a lot of people, let me just address this. This is very important, please. I know it's what you're thinking like, but this is very important to me. The reason why, a lot of people say the secularization of Judaism and Christianity have been a lot is easier because they're more fun, like Christmas. They're like, look at Christmas. Christmas is a lot more fun than Islamic festivals or whatever. But I think they're more fun because they were secularized, not because of Christianity, right? So I think that if Islamic festivals become secularized, the secularization process will liberate it from the ideology so much so that they have the opportunity to become as beautiful and as enjoyable and festive as something like Christmas, if you give it enough time, right? Capitalism will make it more fun once you, if you d disconnect it from the belief. Anyways, that's my Anyone sorry. who has attended Christmas Vigil Mass will tell you that making <laughs> Christmas more religious sucks. Christmas yeah, exactly. Vigil Mass is the worst thing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. That's where all my yeah, Catholics there. Secularize uh, AIDS in Islam and then let capitalism, you know, uh, do its thing. Consumerize it. Consumerize it. And within a decade, AIDS will be competing with Christmas and how fun they are. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.